guys, welcome back to A Screwless Homestead. Today you got me and my greenhouse help, helper, Rye. He likes to start seeds with me. And today, we're a little bit late, but we're starting our asparagus and our celery. <laughs> now, your brother shot you with the Orby gun? Yeah, he also shot me in the foot. Mm. Hold that for just a second, bud. Okay. So, like I said, we're starting our asparagus and our celery. I've never started either one of these before, but we'll give it a shot. This is my little planning book. I found it this year on Amazon, and it is absolutely beautiful. I can't say it's one thing bad about it. I absolutely love the pictures. It is so colorful. Hmm. All right, let's see. Asparagus seeds. Oh, yeah, it's good to play it today. Will you look right there at my little It's the orange little sticky thingy. Now, I've never started asparagus seeds, and these are UC-157 asparagus from in my gardener. But, I know I won't get nothing from it this year, but maybe in a few years. But this is the first year we've lived on this property. This is going on our third, our third spring. All right, she go play. Our third spring and the the first two, I wasn't in the position to plant anything that was going to be in its permanent place because at that time I hadn't found a permanent place I wanted to put them. Now, it says to do about a half an inch. Actually, it says about a quarter of an inch. Can I stop looking? No. It's a quarter inch right there. Let me get these poked. I think that's half the tray. Miss one. I know, because I'm going up half the tray. The camera. Oops. Over here. I got my hose in. We're not putting hose on the other side, baby. Oh, good. Is. These are not tiny seeds, so I can get one for hole. One for hole. And I know some people would put two for hole, but. I do not like thinning. I feel bad killing a plant. So, I prefer not to thin. And if 
some of them don't come up, that's fine because I can direct sell these. In April. I see. I think there's one in each one. You see one in all those? Yep. And I see one in all of those. Okay. They're tiny. Mm, not, no, these are not. Stop, please. I was just trying to. Right, couple more? Yes. Dang it. Get down. But that, that starting these seeds is not what I wanted to talk to you about guys today. A little bit scatterbrained. I wanted to talk to you about seeds in general. I have a lot of seeds. I have from a lot of different places. Give me a tag from up there. I have a lot of seeds from a lot of different places. And I can't say one has worked better than the other. I will. I can say that I mean, why are you? Mm -mm, yeah, I've had better germination from some than others. But at the same time, usually anything I plant, I usually get a plant from. Whether it's the Seeds from the big box stores that are two or three dollars a pack, or seeds from an online seller. Um, but I will say this I like in my gardener seeds for two dollars a pack, you can't really beat that. But, too, if you can't afford two dollars a pack and you can only afford the four, four dollar packet, I know Walmart has a few. A Dollar Tree has four for a dollar twenty-five. Go for it. I did that my first year. Had good, had good germination, and I was happy with them. But this year, I went down a rabbit hole of purple plants, purple, red, you know, plants. I don't purple know why. Green bean. There's going to be quite a bit of purple plants in my garden. I don't. I'm wanting the color. It might just be the winter blues and buying when it's so dark and dreary outside. It's Weston. But. Weston. It's what I'm doing. Now I know these say pat, I mean, um, fourth inch deep. And that's probably right. But everything I've read has told me just to pat them down, make sure they get good contact with the soil. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me do these. Those are tiny. Um, can I show them to you? And they're really tiny, ain't they? Yeah. Those are ain't working. Well, that's okay. Get through here and pat them down. Make sure they get good contact with the. Oh, here. Here's a few that I tried to show them. I think I lost one or two. It's okay. This might have some celery growing on the greenhouse floor. Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> It'll be yummy. Well, fairly. That's the fair part. Fine. 
Oh, anyway. So there's that. Another planet. I'll do another video here in another day. Talking about my garden plans for this year because I have a lot of plans. Oh, I need another tag. Oh, Alrighty, guys. <coughs> oh, my head, please. Ow. Let's get these watered. Can I? Yes, you can. I'll put it about three times. Okay, bud, stop. Oh, cool. Okay, now watch. Oh, can I see it now? Yeah, I'll let you go back across it. With two? I have to do two nets? Or just no, it's one? still prime. It's still prime. If you don't have to do that. You'll break it trying to do that, bud. It's got enough pressure behind it. No, 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 no. Hold it. Too much pressure on it. No, it has a lock on it. Oh, and I locked it on accident. Yep. Sorry. I now I didn't pre-wet my soil. Stop, please. I didn't pre-wet my soil, so that's the reason why I'm giving them a good, good soap. Yeah. Your daddy knocked it down. Alrighty, guys. That's all there is to it. Now, neither one of these need heat if you're keeping them in a Greenhouse. warm area. And they will be. They'll be going in my house tonight. And I do have heat mats, but you don't lock them. I don't like to use them if I don't have to. Man, that's bad. But that's all there is to it. Yeah. Put some dirt in the thing. And, it, and the back of seed packs are really confusing for a lot of people. If you don't know, or not 100% sure, I know, I say this, Google Pants will give you a lot of uh, different answers. And it will. But, if you just stick with, let me move back, please. Uh, known websites like, um, there's Oak Farmer's Almanac, uh, and my gardener has, you know, his own YouTube channel, you can find the, the important information, and then at a later date, you can find out what works for you, because not every, what works for everybody works for you, and just have fun with it, that's all I'm saying, and back to the seeds, a $2 pack of seeds, $3 pack of seeds, $4 pack of seeds, Cheap seeds from the Dollar Tree. If you produce a plant and it feeds you, 
it feeds you, no matter how much you spend on it. All you can afford to do is get the four four dollar from the Dollar Tree. Do that. I know one of my children's favorite tomatoes. I've only found at the Dollar Tree, of all places, and I grow it every year for them. One pack has lasted me years. What? No. But just have fun. Plant some seeds. Get a little helper out here to help you. Because it might give you a little bit of aggravation right now. But I pretty much can guarantee you in a few years you'll look back and say, where did the time go? Because my first helper was my daughter, Caitlin. And she's grown now. Married. Where is the time gone? I hope you'll come back and join me again. At Screwless Homestead. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.